It has been brought to my attention that there is a portal out there called the Amulet of the Plains. This amulet is the only way to access certain areas within the game, such as the upper and lower planes. I have heard tell that this amulet resides on a mob called the Deep Dragon, which is at the end of the gauntlet, which is a very large maze and can be quite difficult to navigate. I have made it my mission to go and get myself one of these amulets, and I invite you to come and join me. First we need to run to Recall, and then we can run to the Gauntlet. The way into this Gauntlet is through the down exit to the north here. Where we need to go down, down, down the rocky stairway and into the darkness. Here we have some cloaked figures huddled around a fire. These figures are actually guards, guarding the way into a hidden temple. Taking the west exit through this temple, we come to the end of Chamber Hallway. Walking into the High Priest's chamber, we automatically get teleported into the gauntlet itself. The gauntlet is full of aggressive monsters. Gals, whites, shadows, mimics, lots of creatures who are very dangerous to our well-being. The best way to get through the gauntlet maze if you can't find any identifying rooms is to kill all the mobs on the way through. If you kill all the mobs as you go, you will eventually find your way through to the end of the gauntlet. Having wandered around the gauntlet for a while and killing the mobs as we've gone, we can now see we have an up exit and a down exit on the map. Let's make our way towards it. These three rooms are unlike the rest of the maze, and the room before the fight tells us in big bold letters the door to the west is the entrance to the battle room. If you die in the battle room it can be difficult to get your corpse back. Hmm, well, let's give this a go. I'm preparing myself by getting some light relief potions from my chaos luggage. It will make it just a little bit quicker for me to drink them. I have no spells to cast and my skills are already ready as they are my weapons. Opening up the west door and scanning west we can see that the deep dragon is in there waiting for us. Let's go in. As bash is the only skill I've got it's the only skill I can use. So far I am winning the fight. Uh oh. Thankfully, I managed to flee on my third try. That was a very tough fight. I got all the way down to 16% health, which was only 88 hit points. Scrolling back up the fight, ah uh, yes, we can see here that when the deep dragon died, I heard a voice in my head that said, well done, now try another, and a large golem appears in the room. However, I never did get my portal. This is one reason why it is very important to make sure you have auto loot toggled on 
if you want something from a mob you are going to kill. Because what this means is, I have to go back in and fight those mobs again. And this time I may not actually survive. I'm going to sleep here for a little while and regain some health as I don't want to use up all my potions before I go back into battle again. We can see here on that tick that I actually received about 50 hit points. This shouldn't take too long. Ah, here we go, almost back to full health, as you can see on the health bar down the bottom. While I've been resting here, I've answered Breaker's questions on the question and answer channel. Typing wake, I wake up. Typing map, we can see that the door to the west is still open. Scanning to the west, we can see the lightning golem is still there. Alright, let's go in and try that again. Oh, he is very strong. Typing effects here, we can see that I have been blinded for 52 seconds. While I am blind, I cannot see anything around me and my attacks don't do as much damage. At least I can still see my light relief potions. In fact, if I type inventory, all I can see in my inventory are items that are glowing and humming. I know that was a bit spammy and I am sorry for that. There we go, I can see again and I've healed myself up to almost full. Now the area has repopulated while I was doing that. Typing scan west, now we can see there is a deep dragon and a nightmare beast inside. Nope, thought I'd just check in case I got lucky. Let's try going west and doing this again. This time it was a little bit easier to kill the deep dragon. But, as you can see, I still have to quaff a lot of healing potions. Having a look in my inventory now, we can see that I did manage to get myself an amulet of the plains. Typing ID amulet, we can see that this is a portal that leads to the amusement park but I need to be level 25 to use it. Well, I'm going to hold on to that one and keep it very safe. Typing keep amulet will ensure that I do not accidentally drop it or sell it to a shopkeeper. Having a look to the west, we can see that the shadow dragon and the nightmare beast are still in there waiting for us. However, now that I have achieved my objective, I'm going to get out of here.